got to love how passionate the guy is about water. It's awesome. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, and here we go. Okay, so York has always had a tremendous history with uh, in industry and industrialization and craftsmanship, uh, as we've heard a lot about tonight. Not just limited to the architecture, that is really an open-air gallery throughout our city, but also some of our greatest assets. But a lot of what goes on inside those buildings has been ridiculously cool, and we have done some incredible stuff over the course of our history. And very much, York is very uh, a small way, a microcosm of the American story. We have made some incredibly cool things from the air conditioners that we breathe, the barbells we lift, the patties we eat, the water we drink. We've made it all so incredibly cool, lost a little bit on the creativity. We named it all York. So pretty much anything that was named York, chances are it was built in York over that course of time. Starting out way back in uh, the early in the 1860s, we have the carriage work companies right over in West Market Street, right in West York Borough. You will know it now as the Carriage Works Apartments. At one point in time, cranking out 30,000 annual uh, carriages to uh, all of the well-to-do throughout our society, right over there in West York. Unfortunately, that went the way of the buggy whip as we had the industrialization and the era of the car. Again, the Pullman automobile. Um, at one point in time, York was considered the Detroit of the East Coast because we had so many manufacturers of vehicles. Uh, and here you see, again, with our exceptional creativity, the York Pattern Surrey. Um, right up the street, over by York College, we have the York Narrow Fabric Building. Anyone know what York Narrow, what Narrow Fabric is? It is the very slim fabric that holds a zipper to cloth. And that is, again, one of those really ridiculously niche industries that York has excelled at and accelerated with. This was built in 1927 and just closed recently in 2005. Now York College owns it and has adapted it into an engineering center for college students. The York Safe and Lock Company, at one point in time, we actually outfitted safes in the New York Stock Exchange, the Federal Reserve in New York, Boston, Philadelphia. We actually outfitted safes in the, in the Bank of China. And here is Otmar Carley, one of our great artists who would restore some safe and locks. And the Safe and Lock Company, unfortunately, in interestingly enough, that old untouchable, Elliot Ness, he killed the Safe and Lock Company. He was a board member of Diebold, and he orchestrated the purchase of the Safe and Lock Company after World War II. We went in Southern York County. Of course, we had to drink our sorrows away at that point. We had the William Faust Company, known for its rye whiskey and delicious uh, malts. Unfortunately, that pesky Volstead Act, it killed the rye, wi the rye whiskey industry. But in typical York fashion, we did the best with what we could, and we started making moonshine. Made it, sold it, and we actually had a little bit of a scandal back then when some judges were caught buying it. Right across the street, uh, now the York Academy was at one point in time known as the Smizer Royer Building and then became Variety Ironworks. Smizer Royer, built in 1866, actually manufactured incredibly good international wrought iron. It was known for the decorative wrought iron work down in the uh, French Quarter in New Orleans. Also, the majority iron components of the Brooklyn Bridge were manufactured right across the street at the then uh, Smizer Royer then Variety Ironworks, now home to an incredible baccalaureate charter school right across the street and incredibly gorgeous. So we have had this incredibly long history and we continue on further to the A.B. Farquhar. We heard a little bit about agricultural implements. A.B. Farquhar was really one of the first catalog order farm implements. They then went on to manufacture steam engines and some may recognize the name Farquhar. Farquhar Estates, actually, the estate of A.B. Farquhar donated land that now sits at Farquhar Hill to the city of York to make a park to aerate the city. And it was actually this, a big controversy. The city actually a a acquired some land around it to ensure that we kept it aerated. And uh, just down the street, at Broad and Philadelphia Street, you'll notice that building it still exists. This is the Weaver Piano. Um, at one point in time, we had 280 piano manufacturers. After World War II, we dropped down to 18. In World War II, you'd think sales declined. Actually, Weaver found a niche. They sold to the USO in a delicious olive green piano. And their sales actually went up, only to decline shortly thereafter. And of course, We've heard a lot about food. We've made a lot of the snack capital capital of the world. Uh, we have everything from originally the delicious Stauffer biscuits, which were the first animal crackers and still to this day, very tasty. And also Snyder's, the predecessor of the York City Pretzel Company. In, in 1811, just a little bit older than York Water Company, but in no longer in existence, the Falsgraf Company. We know it very well, built an empire at one point in time. They were cranking out four million products a year, then went on to build radio companies and WSBA. WSBA had the first TV station where an advertising slogan said, it's good to advertise on WSBA because it's a progressive station for a progressive community. We still have a Fortune 500 in the city of York in the 500 block of West College Avenue. Dentsply, formerly the dentist supply company. Yes, we combined those to save ourselves seconds of the syllables. And the dentist supply company still exists today. Our primary assembly is in the city of York and Dentsply is also the leading purchaser of porcelain in the world for porcelain teeth. And of course, you had to go to downtown York to get all your fashionable accessories. 
whether it was at the Bon Ton, uh, built in 1898 by the Grumbacher family, or the Bears department store, or down the street, it's always a good time to get an Andy's fur. Of course, we also had haberdasheries, like the Griffith Smith building, which is under renovation right now. So again, bringing old to new. And you couldn't walk down West Market Street without hitting some of our five and dimes. McCrory's was one of the first five and dimes in this country. Mr. McCrory, apparently so cheap that he dropped the E in his last name to not have to pay for the extra signage. And then the Weiss Department Stores, the main thoroughfare. You'll know this now as the home to the York Community Foundation, the Wolf Building, the Wolf Organization. This used to have this gorgeous thoroughfare uh, through the department store. But I would posit that our manufacturing, our craftsmanship has not gone. It has just changed. It's evolved. Now we're making incredible uh, wind turbines and, and water turbines at Voith. BAE produces Bradley fighting vehicles. And the Grand Packaging Center. You walk into a grocery store today, chances are the vast array of, of manufactured product containers were made here by the industrial artists, designers at Graham Packaging. And of course, we continue to change and, and find in on niche. We have your container, which just recently won uh, Guinness Book of World Records for wrapping a semi-tractor trailer in cardboard. How they paid in postage, I don't know. Starbucks just celebrated 20 years of roasting facility here in York, second best coffee ever. Unilife has a patent on retractable syringes, retractable syringes. So I would posit, again, manufacturing, craftsmanship, it's not gone in America. It's just changed. It's continued to evolve. Here are a lot of the oldies and goodies. And uh, we've mentioned some of them today. You, you know some of them, I'm sure. Magnesita, former J.E. Baker company. Man, they actually mine 99% pure dolomite, the purest in the world. Yes, I said dolomite. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Rudy Art Glass, Wolf, all of these great organizations and companies, York Wall Coverings. Uh, PCC, precision metal components. Every cell phone in your pocket has a little metal component that connects the charger to the phone that is manufactured here, tooling dynamics. So whether it's the water we drink, the pretzels we eat, or the bread that we dip, or the beer that we chug, craftsmanship is still very much alive. Thank you.